I have in my hands the uh, weirdest club you've ever seen. I think it, you might think it's some type of wood. Well, it's not. It is the Maisel Strawberry Wedge. Look at this thing. I saw this. It's like 70 bucks. And uh, obviously, we have to check it out. The strawberry shaped wedge is designed not only to keep you delightfully entertained, but hopefully hit some great wedge shot. Not only does it have the dimples like strawberry seeds, but the stem is great. It has a matching green shaft. Even the back of this club is dimpled. Now, I don't know the bounce of this club, but the bounce is the angle at which the sole comes below the leading edge. It doesn't have much at all but it has this super wide sole. So if you just add a little bit of loft, you've got like 40 degrees of bounce. So let's see how it starts off with these tight lies. 52 degree wedge, a little chip and run here to that middle flag. Ooh. I honestly thought I was gonna blade that thing over the green. Oh, second shot of my life with that thing, I almost went in. Huh. That super wide sole is interesting because you can definitely hit behind it and uh, it still performs. Yeah. Let me open the face a little and see what happens. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh. Huh. Let's go with the short one. Maybe shorter is harder. No. Nope. Go to the far one. I don't know. I don't know. I make two in a row. This is a different hole, but this can't be real. It can't be real. I I got it because I thought it was just gonna be funny. Now we gotta really test this thing out. So here's the difference between the Maisel Strawberry Wedge 52 degree and my gamer 54 degree wedge one you could see the length is going to be quite a bit different although it's less loft it's a shorter club so it's about an inch shorter than my standard wedge here it's also graphite shaft supposedly stiff super light so and then you could feel the head but it's not like an extra heavy head here i feel the head i feel the weight of this whole club is heavier and the bounce of my 54 is 11 so you can see how it comes below the leading edge but you see how small that sole is the bounce here it's not much but that sole is as wide and as long as long as the entire club so if you open the face you can see now you're adding all this bounce now that gets really below that leading edge so it's 109 yards to that yellow flag we're dead into the wind actually went about the same distance as my 54 sounds bizarre sounds like I'm hitting a piece of tin and I just don't trust that I'm getting much spin off those grooves they're not even grooves they're dots well it's not so horrible off the grass it sounds weird but let's give it a good old bunker testing surprisingly easy to get out A little plug lie here. See how that works. That gets out. I guess if you have an okay bunker game, like you're not gonna have a problem with this. Like, yeah. Got out pretty easily. One of the biggest faults I see in the bunker, people just pull in with their hands. So I'm gonna try that. Just get short and pull with my hands and see uh, what, what happens. Yeah, I would never hit a bunker shot like that. Went out high and soft. <laughs> okay, I don't see how you can't get out of the bunker with this thing. But now how is it out of this thick Bermuda rough? 
So here we go. Ball is buried in the Bermuda. Dormant Bermuda. Can we land it high and soft with a 52 degree? Right where those other balls are. I've seen a number of those golf wedges where it's just a thick sole. It's kind of a uh, high handicapper special kind of club, but never one shaped like a strawberry. I mean, you can easily hit it really high. That's the thing, out of the thick Bermuda, you do want a nice wide sole. Oh no, look, the strawberry color's coming off. Even on the face. Well, that's the downside. I guess the strawberry doesn't last forever. It's about as much as you could chunk it right there. At least I made it over the bunker. All right, can I endorse the strawberry wedge from Maisel? Not really, but it is fun. I, I would say I wouldn't endorse it for everyday gameplay, but hey, might be a cool, fun, funny gift for somebody. Color's not gonna last very long and you're not getting much spin off those grooves, unfortunately, or for, maybe fortunately. But I will say, it is a lot of fun to goof around with. Whew. Almost made it. Hope this uh, was entertaining for y'all. Love you guys. See you next time.